All right, so the world has been raving about 5G and I've waited a long time to be able to try it myself. Now, Airtel, one of India's largest telecom operators, they reached out and invited me to try 5G firsthand. And that was hard to say no to. But before doing all of that, choosing the right 5G network is really important. So there are really just three things that you've got to think about. First, your network must have wide compatibility and global acceptance. So by compatibility, I mean whatever 5G smartphone you've got, it must be able to hook on to the 5G network. It would be really sad that you've got a 5G phone, but then your network operator doesn't support it. And Airtel at its event said that their 5G network is 100% compatible with all 5G enabled smartphones in India. Now it's a tall claim to make, but it is the one that matters. And second thing is global acceptance. So Airtel has built its 5G network on NSA architecture. What that means is that it uses the existing 4G infrastructure to just give you higher 5G speeds. And so it's globally more accepted, it's more reliable, especially if it's higher speeds that you're after. And that brings me to the second one and the more obvious one, speed. So while I was at the event, I tested the internet speeds and I was getting download speeds of about 470 megabit per second and upload speeds close to 125 megabit per second. In fact, there were moments I was getting 700 megabit per second over there. And that's faster than the broadband connection that I have in the studio. Now sure, I was really close to the 5G tower, so that's entirely possible. But in fact, in a real world scenario, you're bound to get anywhere between 20 times to 30 times the speed of 4G. And that is a big jump from where we are right now. Today, you can listen to music or stream movies without the content actually on your phone, right? So you can use YouTube Music or Spotify to listen to music. You can look at Netflix and Amazon Prime to watch video content and the content doesn't have to sit on your phone. But what about games? Well, today, you have to download the game, you have to install it on your phone to be able to play it, right? Well, 5G changes all of that. And so essentially, 5G is fast enough to let you play high-end games on your smartphone without the game actually ever being installed or loaded onto your phone. And so you can just hook it up to your TV using an HDMI cable and to a gamepad controller using Bluetooth, pretty much have like console level gaming on your phone. In fact, you'll be able to play two player games with your friends virtually without any lag. I in fact tried that. And lastly, you wanna do your bit of being environmental friendly and getting on networks that contribute to greener technology. In fact, Airtel at its event said that with their 5G technology, they've been able to reduce carbon emissions by up to 85% per gigabyte of data transfer, which I think is really critical and crucial uh, to where we are heading with a lot of big data transfers. So you definitely want to think about that as well. All right, now I'm going to answer some very basic questions about 5G that you may have, especially related to its rollout plan. So the first question, when is it coming to your city? So 5G is actually already out and Airtel with its 5G Plus launch is already available in eight major metro cities. And they're adding towers every day and they're increasing their coverage within these cities. So it's gonna to come to your neighborhood any day now. The plan is that by 2022, the end of 2022, all these eight major metro cities will be fully covered. And then they'll start putting in tier one, tier two cities. And I think by the end of 2023, the plan is to completely cover the nation. Second, do you need a new SIM card or a new smartphone? Well, if you've purchased a new smartphone within the last 12 to 18 months, it is very likely that it is 5G enabled. If it's not, well, make sure that the next phone that you buy is 5G enabled. And about the SIM card, if you're already using 4G on your SIM, it's all set to catch the new 5G signals. So you're all good. And lastly, how much is it going to cost you? So until Airtel completely rolls out 5G in the country, you're going to be able to enjoy 5G at the same prices as 4G. So nothing extra to pay. But yeah, once they are complete with it, they're going to come up with separate pricing and plans. So you can choose one that best suits you. All right. And that's pretty much it, guys, on 5G in India. I'm really excited, as you can see. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, thoughts, let me know in the comment section, of course. You know, I'll get back to you guys. And yeah, that's, that's it. I hope this video was really helpful. And if it was, Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon, and mark all. Really helps the channel grow. I'll see you in the next one.